the LA Rams at Seattle Seahawks on Sunday night. You loved the Rams at plus one and a half. Uh, it almost immediately moved to Rams plus one, and then they were favorites pretty quickly after that. It has bounced around. Some books have the Rams as dogs right now. Others have them as faves. Um, the pros seem to be on the Seahawks right now. Teams coming off a loss of three touchdowns or more the following week, 56% against the spread since 2018. Do we still love the Rams here? Still love them. I'd still bet them because it's under the key number, which we always talk about too. So right now, the highest I'm seeing in Los Angeles is minus one and a half at a couple books. Still love the Rams. I just don't think the books have updated their line enough to having Puka and Cooper Cup back. To me, they didn't adjust to it last week. They haven't adjusted to it this week as well. So I'm still getting value here. And I don't think they've downgraded the Seahawks team enough where, um, you know, coming into the year, people thought they were going to be much better defensively just because of the head coaching hire. And then another year of Gino in this offense should be better. Gino has been passing, has, has incredible passing yards, but he struggled in the red zone this season. And defensively, this is a team that just can't stop the run. And, you know, as much as you want to talk about how great the Rams are through the air, their whole identity is built through the run. And everything they do is predicated off of that. So um, unless there's some bad weather coming into this one, and I'm missing this right now because it's so early in the week, how do you not love the Rams to be able to move the ball against them? Like the weapons they have, I, mean, I think we both agree that that Vikings defense is much better than that Seahawks defense. And especially all the exotic blitz packages that the Vikings defense did, all the different looks they can give you. Stafford's immune to it. He's seen it all. That's why I, I talk about it. I think veteran quarterbacks had a huge advantage playing against that Vikings team. Guys who have seen it all, they don't get flustered by those type of looks. Sammy, you can go for the Seahawks. I don't know what the Seahawks defense can do attack-wise to stop this offense in the L.A. And the flip side, this Rams team, I mean, Aaron Donald was a huge loss. Their front four has actually been pretty good this year. Like, they're yeah. not that terrible that people thought they were going to be coming to the season. Like, their real weakness is their young secondary. But I think the Seahawks are still going to be out DK Metcalf, which we saw last week was a big deal. Like, there was a noticeable difference of them not being able to attack the ball downfield. And the Bills, instead of having to have both safeties back, they were only, only had to have one drop back, and they could stack the box against Kenneth Walker, which is a big deal. Like, the Seahawks want to feed him. They want to run the ball. When you take that away and put it on Geno, we see that that just doesn't work. He's not that type of quarterback. So um, still like this number. It's still under two. I'll still bet the Rams. Um, obviously, I hope everyone listened Sunday night because it's just it's nice when you get the plus one and a half. It's such a key number, especially with this Rams team. Uh, yeah, everything you're saying makes total sense. I think we asked ourselves last week, we thought the Bills Seahawks was a statement game for the Seahawks Yeah. in that are they going to be defined as a good team or a mediocre team? And the Bills, we've said, they struggle against the good teams and they dominate the mediocre teams. Yeah. And they dominated. dominated. They dominated so badly that the Seahawks were fighting with each other on the sidelines. <laughs> so um, the Rams are steady. They're veteran. They have a really good offense. It's the turning Matthew, point of their season, right? Don't you feel the same way? It's the turning point of their season. Matthew Stafford doesn't get rattled. Like you said, we love Stafford. We've loved Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams, between the tackles, is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I think we still like the Rams here. Rams are on the list. Rams are on the list. Look at this. This week, people, look at all our favorites. See, we can change. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, the Rams, they may be dogs. Like, we don't know yet. That's true. 